At the beginning of the year, the Ghanaian economy went through a rough economic tide. And during this period, we saw the CD depreciate by 20% to the dollar. We saw the debt to GDP ratio cross the 80% mark. And the budget deficit remained at 11%, while the government wants it at 7.4%. In light of this development, labor and trade unions, through their leadership, went to government and said, we'd like a salary increment of about 20% to be able to absorb these changes. The government said, be good Ghanaians, we're going through it together, so take at least 7%. It sounded reasonable because the economy was going through it. However, new things have come to light. It has now come to light that the leadership of state-owned enterprises are not going through the same surgical procedures that the government is putting other public employees on top of a very hefty salary of between 18,000 to 25,000 cities a month they get very generous allowances what are some of these allowances they get six days paid for vacation anywhere in the world for a family of six outside of annual leave so six people you get six days in Bora Bora Hawaii Santa Barbara Seychelles name it and you get a room for Three. Moving on, upon retirement, a package calculated at 12% of the gross, gross rather salary is given to the leaders who are leaving office. To mean 12% of your total salary is given to you as a gift. On top of this, you need to be abreast with what's going on in the digital world. So uh, state-owned enterprises say... A multimedia laptop with accessories is necessary for those who are leaving office. You pick whichever you want, uh, whichever brand you want, it will be given unto you. Now, upon retirement, if you have been at a post for more than two years, you get an additional gift valued at 50% of one month gross salary. However, if you had worked for four years, you get two months of your gross salary and you get to keep the official salon vehicle at a discounted 50%. Aren't these good terms? These are really good deals. I would like to work for such people. On top of this, there are also other end of service benefits for these state owned enterprise managers. For example, four month gross salary at the point of disengagement for every calendar year. To mean Ghana's calendar year begins at November. When November comes upon retirement, they get four months of their gross salary salary upon retirement so you're being paid not to work other benefits include 6000 home loan and 2000 home enhancement loan and of course during retirement you also have to travel you get 1500 uh, in terms of per diem they also get mandatory full medical examination yearly abroad london germany usa name it and free medical care after retirement for spouse and children of up to 21 years when you look at all these benefits it looks like like state-owned enterprises are doing really well. They are rewarding their leadership. But that is not the case. Deputy Finance Minister John Kuma has disclosed that about 50% of state-owned enterprises recorded a 5.3 billion loss in their operations in 2020. This are organizations that are awarding their leadership with hefty allowances, but they're making losses in terms in tunes rather of 5.3 billion cities just at 2020. Who are some of these enterprises that are making losses? Name and shame, Bulk Oil Storage and Distribution Company Limited, as of 2019, was making losses to a tune of 88.39 million Ghanaian cities. ECG is another one making losses of 922.59 cities in terms of losses and there are many more that are making losses for example pmmc and the ghana airport company limited in the same year that they were making so much losses the government supported struggling soes using state funds five state-owned enterprises received 1.38 billion ghanaian cities of your tax money some of this money went into hefty allowances, yet government says it cannot afford to increase the salary of laborers by just 20% and cuts it by 13% to 7%.